please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. My name is Dave Moss. I tune approximately 3,500 bikes per year. This is Two Clicks Out. Now steal the microphone, Matt. Here's a preview. You're using just over half of your travel right now. So nothing wrong with that at all. Grab the brakes for me. You go online, you make model specifications. The website is bike with a Z on the end. That will tell you how much travel you have. So if we go full extension, Yeah, that's right there. Fully extended, you're at 240 millimeters. So, if the book says you have 200, 40 millimeters up will go a little black dot, and then you know it's your maximum. Right now, you have no measure of how much suspension you're using versus the actual that you get from the manufacturer. The shock's easy, so go look at your shock, what's dirty, what's clean. Yes, sir, and now we can measure the front because the back's set correctly. So, for the dirt where you had it, at 11 is fine because it's doing that. So for dirt settings on the shock, so go for a ride and let's see. Definitely, uh, I noticed the difference. Okay. It, uh, def so, it doesn't dive as much. Right? right. And it's different than a car, but I, you know, I trail brake, I try to trail brake and just mm -hmm. gently let it off and that's what I do in cars. I'm so, not a track guy, so I don't know, but I know it's the same. It's the same thing, right? It, it feels better when you get that front down. Yes, because now you're creating the potential for an oversteer situation. If the front is bouncy, then you're going to get understeer, right? Mm -hmm. And you know those two terms extremely well. So when you're playing with compression damping, if you soften it up, you will get more oversteer. If you firm it up, forks get longer, you get more understeer. Right. So you can leverage your car information, knowledge and understanding when using an adjuster. If rebounds too fast, you're going to get massive understeer. Because it's up here. So if you leverage your car understanding, you can immediately apply it against the motorcycle. Yeah, it felt definitely more stable, very... Good. And it still turned great. Okay. And it still, everything seemed good. Okay. Come around this side and just watch your front end when I lean on it. Does the front end collapse or not? Yeah. It doesn't, does it? No. You lever it. So, as you ride, and if you sit on it, and here's where I sit on it, Barely. it just pivots around the steering head. Right. <laughs> so because you only lowered it half an inch, you took all the leverage away. So there's two options. One is soften the front, right? So when you brake, it comes forward, and you get weight on it and then speed up the rear to send weight forward as well as stiffen the shock so you're not constantly leveraging away. You can lower anything, but you gotta... You gotta equal it out. Yeah. If, and yeah. if you think I should move these an inch... So let's go through the process today. Yeah, let's do it. Because at this point, the education is far more important. Yeah. Because then if somebody says, hey, I want to lower a bike, how much help can you be then? And that, for me, is everything. So, so where's the lock color? You're joking. I think it's on the other side. The screw's right here. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's really rude. Why would you put the screw where nobody can get to it? they knew you would work on it. See it? The screw head's right there. The bolt, the thread, which means it's back here and we can't get to it. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com. Dave Moss can tune your suspension no matter where you are on the planet via his remote tuning service. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, Dave at DaveMossTuning.com.